Let's have a look at the Liberal Party's big ad for the election. Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Heiser Says. I have my Stein of coffee and I thought we'd go through the Liberal Party's advertisement for our upcoming election. I've looked at the Labour one and I think we'll work through each one of the parties. Let's get into it. So once again, you know, a family home environment to the humanising our politicians, which is good to see. I'm, I'm glad that both Labor and Liberal haven't just gone straight with the attack ads. The real question is, is what country do you want to live in for the next 10 years? The next 10 years is going to determine people's lives. Starting out, coming... You can just see, I, I think you're getting a fundamental taste of his thinking here. He's got a different perspective. No promises yet. Just thinking about the future. Okay. Out of university, having kids, entering retirement. The next 10 years are important to everybody at, at every stage of life. The decisions they'll make. And if we get the settings right. He just needs to shave his head. Come on, ScoMo, take it all off. On our economy and on security. If we create the right conditions, then Australians will have a better next decade. That the choices that my girls will have over the next 10 years, even over the next three years, will set up. See, the decisions... Let's just, just jump back here. I noticed this before. Look, look at that kitchen. I, I, I know that their residence... I'm assuming this is, this is in the uh, Kirribilli house. And so they naturally have a commercial kitchen there. Because I, I really hope he doesn't have that in his normal home. Because bloody hell, that, that's that's just full on. That's full on. But you got to love the stainless steel kitchens. As an architect, I really admire it. See, the decisions you make in one term of government last for a decade or more. So it isn't just about the next three years. It's about what does the next decade look like? It has taken us 12 years to get the budget back on track. As much as we are passionate about a strong economy, it's actually why we're passionate about it that matters. We're investing in hospitals, we're investing in education. All of this is made possible by a stronger economy. You know, you change the government, you change the course of the country, and it takes a long time to get it back on track. So that's what we're about. Um, we're about making sure that in the next 10 years, Australians will have better choices, more opportunities, and better living standards uh, by us keeping on the track that is already delivering. I question that the track is already delivering. I think we're kind of at the whims of the global economy. And the slow motion footage with the kids. I mean, it, it's... It's good persuasion. Oh, wait, we need to see who authorised it. Liberal Party of Australia. Oh, he authorised it himself. So, you know, this is, it's interesting, an interesting perspective or just a take on it to compare it to Labor's grab bag of promises. Here it's more about kind of creating an emotional response. You could hear by the tone of the music, what's going to happen with the future? Will it be certain? Will it be uncertain? It's taken us so long to steer the economy right back on track. Uh, it's framing it with a you know, family perspective, drawing on his children. And I mean, he's looking like a normal bloke here. Um, again, another reference to the MRI machines. And I've, I've learned after I spoke to one of my friends who's an a, uh, interventional radiologist, and he was telling me that the government doesn't actually bring them in. The government licenses the ability for people to access Medicare payments from their investment. And it's, it's done with population. So different areas in the population they have, then they get a, an ability to have a license to get Medicare payments for the MRI machines. So it's kind of a bit funny how they're they're framing it, but you know. So I, I don't know. I mean, it's it's interesting, interesting persuasion. I don't know if it will flip anyone. I don't know if it's just preaching to the choir, uh, and it's encouraging that it's not a negative message that's what I'm, I'm enjoying about it that we're getting these positive spins and at least making people think about what's going on there's not really much i can i can discuss in here because 
I mean, investing in education, investing in MRI or med medical machines, he he's just framing in it from the, the future. In the next 10 years, Australians will have better choices, more opportunities. So in the next 10 years, Australia will have better choices and more opportunities. Why? Why will we have that? Why, why would you vote for, for LMP as opposed to Labor? Why will we have better choices? Because they're investing in education? You know, if there isn't a, a economic stimulus to absorb all those people from education, if you know, we've just invested millions in our NBN infrastructure here, a national broadband network. It's just been a complete balls up by the government investing in this infrastructure and the internet speeds you get here in Australia. Well, actually, you know what? Let's, let's do a live speed test right now. Let's do a live speed test of what, what I get here in Australia. And I'm paying, what, 79 bucks a month? So this is a Sunday afternoon I'm recording this. Here we go. What do we got? 47.6 down. Am I up? Now this, the upload is really... Uh, now that I, I've, for my business, we were originally in South Brisbane and we had huge uploads and huge downloads because we were on Fiverr. We had Fiverr to our building and it was insane. And then I moved to a cheaper premises, but I went to ADSL too. And the upload speed really hampered my ability to do, to run my business, to use online cloud software to have my rivet models so I could coordinate with other people. And the fact is this our, our data network, which the government kind of restricted the te telecommunications companies from expanding their infrastructure and said, nope, you only can extend it by this much more, and then boom, it has to be MBN. So they interfered in the market, they restricted the market, and now we have this dog's breakfast system where we have to pay a lot, and it's all artificially capped, and they want to make a revenue off it. And this here, these numbers... These numbers affect the innovative ability of our nation. It's that simple. It means now that I've got MBN, I can put videos up at a higher quality. Just in my own little thing, I'm working from home now. I can put videos up at a higher quality than I could at my office. I can have access to, um, you know, I can have access to more information faster with my point cloud business. I can upload them to the cloud and actually share them. And I'm working with terabytes of data here, and you know, we're, we're just a small business, and we need access to it. And I'd say this. Here is an example of government interference in a part of the economy that can have tremendous ongoing effects. This is an infrastructure example. And, you know, liberals uh, arguing for the next 10 years, you know, what's it going to lead, what opportunities we're going to have. The balls up of this, and I'm not critical of Aussie broadband. I love Aussie broadband, to be honest. They're really good. But uh, the whole state investment and control and management of this new infrastructure has just been terrible. And that just casts a doubt on to any of the claims that LMP put forward, you know, in in this advertisement. But what do you and think, guys? Better living standards uh, by us keeping on the track. That is so he's, he's appealing to people who are concerned of the upcoming changes to the economy to keep it on track. Yeah. I myself, I'm pushing for shift the window. I'd argue that people need to vote for probably a minor party I prefer, I'd encourage, that represents your views more closely than the major two to send a message, either in the Senate, or if they have to use the preferences of the minors to get across the line, send them a message like that. I, I'm disheartened with both of the major two parties. Liberal uh, Labor has gone too far down identity politics. Liberal as well are just they, they seem like Labor light or they, they feel like Labor of the 80s. You know they, they're going too too left to actually give us a lot of a uh, well no they're being dragged left by the left and the left Labor is being dragged left by the Greens. So and they won't even have discussions on certain things in Parliament anymore. I'm not sure. What do you think, guys? Do you think it's a good ad? At least it's a positive message. You know, at least he's not attacking the opposition. It's making reference to family, to some a little bit, a little, tiny mention of 
infrastructure, but I'd say this one is just preaching to the choir, honestly. It's preaching to people who are worried. I don't know if it'll flip anyone. Let me know what you think, guys. Do you think this would flip you? Were you a hardcore Labour voter and now you're going to go to LNP because of this, this advert? Anyway, please like, share and subscribe. Ding the bell to see my daily updates. And I'll see you next time. I'm going to keep going through all these different adverts for the different parties. and We'll have a talk about them. Take care. Bye for now.